Alrighty, guys, yes. now I'm going to show you how to strengthen your paper craft models using fiberglass resin. So here's what you'll need. Of course, you need some fiberglass resin. The catalyst for mixing with it. And this is the material that actually strengthens and hardens the resin, otherwise, it will be sticky. Uh, I do highly recommend using rubber latex gloves, a cheap throwaway paintbrush. You can get something like this for about 95 cents at places like Lowe's. Of course, a container to mix the resin in, and your model. Remember to work in a well-ventilated area, or if one is not available, to wear a uh, sturdy respirator, because resin fumes are actually very hazardous for your health. So the first thing you do after taking the proper precautions is to apply the catalyst to the resin. It should be about 15 drops of catalyst per ounce of resin, although it will be specified on the can of resin. Once you have the resin and catalyst all mixed together, use your paintbrush to apply nice even coats to your model. You only have about 15 minutes before the resin starts to cure, so you're going to have to work fairly quickly. If you made your model out of cardstock paper like you should have, then you shouldn't have any problem with it. It's a very sturdy material, so you don't have to worry about it bending under pressure. If your model looks wet, don't worry. That's normal. That just means you're applying enough resin to it. Alrighty, so for fine glass, you're going to need essentially the same uh, grocery list as you had the first time. You're going to need your resin, your catalyst, something to mix the resin with, um, your paintbrush, of course, and your fiberglass uh, cloth or mat. I've only ever worked with the uh, cloth, so I don't know what the other ones are working on. You're going to need some scissors to work with as well. Something that should be noted is that the attire I'm wearing in the video is generally not what I would recommend for this kind of project. Fiberglass can be extremely irritant to the skin and that it is very, very, very itchy if it touches you. Before you mix the resin, you're going to want to cut the fiberglass into thin strips. Make sure you cut enough to cover your entire model. A good way to accomplish this is by cutting each strip and then laying it down on the model flat so you get an idea of where it will need to be and how big it needs to be. Once you have your fiberglass strips cut out, you're going to want to go ahead and mix your resin. Using your resin just like you did before, you're going to want to put down a layer of resin where you want your fiberglass strips to be. Don't cover the entire model just yet. Lay down the strip of fiberglass and then press it down using your paintbrush. Once the fiberglass is stuck to the resin, you're going to want to apply another layer of resin over the fiberglass strip. Make note that you only need to apply fiberglass to the inside of your model. If you apply it to the outside of your model, it will destroy whatever detail is displayed there. 